What is up guys? I hope you guys are all having a great day. It's been a while since I brought out the G9X. Um, I haven't been filming with it since I bought all this new stuff for my T3i. But I noticed that the T3i has a dead pixel recently, so I don't know how much I want to be using this one because it has a dead pixel. This is the newer camera and I feel like I should be using this one. I need to still pick up a battery for it because I still am running on one battery, but I want to go out and do something tonight. I don't know what, but let's go do something. Before I go out though, I'm looking for my OEM knob. Um, lately I've been having a really bad problem with doing second to third of my car and I know someone's going to roast me in the comment section about that. That's just because the knob I have sits real low on the shifter so it's like the spacing between second and third is like that. Well second to third and uh, second to fifth. So it's really easy to do second to fifth because the knob spacing is so short. So I'm trying to find my OEM knob um, so I can try to see what it was like to drive with a longer knob. So Nikki, what you looking at? Put head down. All right, so I found the knob. We're gonna try it out. I'm kind of curious. I don't remember what this feels like, so we're gonna check it out. You guys are gonna see the world's fastest install. You guys ready? I'm about to poop on TJ and everybody right now with their 30 minute installs. You ready? We're talking 30 second installs. Oh my god, the thread is so long on this. I could just be swiveling the whole time. We're still swiveling. Oh my goodness. I have a feeling though that it's going to take me a really long time to actually get it with the numbers lined up. Like I just have a feeling that I'm going to have a terrible time lining up these numbers. We'll see how long it takes me. Doubt I'm getting it first try. There's no way that this is happening first try. So surprisingly it didn't take me as long as I thought it would be. It took me like two, three tries. Something crazy that blew my mind about these knobs is I was looking online and these knobs go for $127. That is absolutely ridiculous. Like I know OEM parts are always more, but like $130 basically for an OEM STI knob. That's insane. Got some discovery channel for you guys. So putting on that knob actually made me really excited to drive my car. I don't think I've ever been so excited to actually drive my car after putting on something so dumb like a shift knob, but I kind of been feeling in the way that like I like the higher knob because I feel like it's like more precise I don't know how to explain it because with the shorter one I feel like if the throw is too short it's easy to miss a gear so I'm kind of excited to try out the long knob and maybe I will sell my Lathworks one I don't know if a subscriber wants to buy my Lathworks knob you're more than welcome shoot me an offer comment down hey you need to relax you need to stop So we're about getting ready to roll out, but I want to ask you guys, I've asked you that guys this before, but do you guys like the quality of the G9X more or do you guys like the quality of the T3i? I haven't really used the G9X in a while, so I don't know how this is going to look, but I think that the G9X is going to look a little better because the sensor I think is better, but comment down below what you think. Before I leave, I'm going to list the address on screen for the Aptos ice cream that I go to. So again, if you guys are in the area, you guys can stop by. I like to share everywhere that I go with you guys, so you guys will feel in the loop. So check it out on screen. All right, so me and Lil Man are going to roll out right now. But before we go get ice cream, we got to make a pit stop at the storage. I don't think you guys know how excited I am to drive this right now. It's been a while since I've actually been excited about something new. We got little man unlocking the gate so you guys can see my MK4 Supra. Just kidding about the Supra, but you guys know that on this channel I want a project car and I really need your guys' help to help me decide what project car you guys would like to see. I haven't seen anyone comment down below, but if you guys give me an idea, I will do it. Little man will be there too. I don't know the code. So if you guys are wondering, this knob is amazing. Ugh. I gotta get the moment. Ah, it's a Supra! No, I'm just kidding, imagine. In case you guys are wondering why we're here, little man's gonna go on a snowboarding trip with a few of his little homies soon. And so he's gotta get some gear. And then he's gonna roll out and hit the slopes. He's gonna try to front board the snow version of El Toro. Man, they added that mammoth. It's actually called Snow Toro. I'm just kidding. 
Probably mid or probably mid high. Closer. Closer than bigger? Yeah. Looks like a nap. Alright, little man got his gear. We're rolling out. After time. got to afters this one just opened up recently so I don't know if this one's gonna suck or not but it should be good I was talking shit on the way in so he could pay for his own ice cream <laughs> right little man you can pay for your own ice cream get in there and my ice cream I'm paying for my ice cream too <laughs> Young man just desecrating this display. You're gonna clean that. I'll show you guys what we're working with right now. Autofocus is not working. There we go. There we go. This is a donut stuffed with ice cream. So they got a banner, not a light. Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why all the lights over here are lit up, like the trees are lit up. It's not Christmas, but. It's literally lit. So they must have known I was bringing Little Man because they kept the lid. There's like brand new caps. Take it off. I got you on camera saying that. I'm going to send it to West Covina Courthouse. <laughs> Every time I buy Little Man something, I always tell him I just add it to his tab. And then his 18th birthday and senior year, I'm just going to hit him with the seven years of stuff. Hell no. <laughs> We are gonna roll out right now, back home. Holy crap, I'm holding this camera retarded. Jesus Christ. And, I don't know, probably nothing after that. Like I said, this is in West Covina. If you guys wanna check it out, I, list, I listed it for you guys, so you guys can see where I roll to with the famous little man. Just made it back from afters. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cruise coming along with me. Um, like I said, try out that place afters. If you guys are in West Covina, it's really good. I guarantee you guys will like it. It's unlike anything you've had before, I can promise you. It's not anything like Baskin Robbins or your tr traditional ice cream places. It's very unique. Um, really unique recipes. It should be all homemade, I believe. It's a, you know, a, a real original place, so check it out. I'm really amped on that knob that I tried out. I'm really glad that I got the idea to try it out. I have no idea what gave me the idea to switch the knob over to the OEM one, but it feels so good. I'm definitely going to probably throw um, the last first one on Craigslist, see if anyone will buy it, and then I'm probably going to purchase a little bit longer one. I'm kind of thinking of going with the cylinder style. I'm not too sure yet, but I think the cylinder style might fit exactly what I'm looking for because I want something a little longer than what the OEM one now OEM one is right now. I think the OEM one is a great size, but I want it to be a little bit longer and then also a little heavier than the OEM one. So I think the cylinder style will be a really good match for that. I'm not gonna lie, I started this vlog with a serious intention of I wanted to open up to you guys and be real honest about you guys because you guys are like all of my friends over the internet in a sense and like um, I wanted to share with you guys that like it's okay not to have everything figured out like I can say for myself that sometimes I get really bad anxiety and really bad PTSD for not knowing the unknown and like things that like are gonna be a week from now or like things that are ahead in my future and I just want to share with you guys that it's okay not to have everything figured out that you guys are gonna be alright and you'll figure it out day by day as your life goes on now, that might be a, re a real like surreal concept because like saying it is a lot different than living it but I just wanted to give you guys that reassurement that everything in your lives are going to be fine and you know that uh, you know there's a plan for everybody and just to keep moving 
in the direction that you guys want to go and not to give up on your hopes and dreams. So with that being said, guys, I just want to take a chance to thank you so much for coming with me. I appreciate all of you guys' time. Um, hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe. I always upload frequently, like three or four videos a week. So if you guys are interested in car content with a little bit of lifestyle, I constantly upload. I promise you guys I have you covered on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I will see you guys on the next vlog. All right, if you stayed this late in the vlog, number one, you are the man. Number two, that means me and you guys have a real personal relationship because you've been listening to me talk for minutes on end now, which I have no idea why because I don't think I'm the most entertaining speaker that I ever watched. But um, I want you guys to know that this channel is highly dedicated to like positive motivation and like inspiring you guys to chase your goals. And like I want to show you guys and maybe things that I overcome and then also things that are like artistic in an um, expressive fashion because like a lot of things that I do with cars there's a lot of people who A, they might talk shit or they have an opinion or they disagree with it. And it's a really big theme for your guys' life because there's always going to be someone talking, you know, like talking smack about what you do in life and that you could be doing better. Or there's something else you should be spending your time. And I want you guys to learn to make decisions for yourself and that you guys control your own lives and there's no one else that dictates what you should be doing except yourself. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you guys for coming with me. I will see you guys on the next video.